The only straight men were the men who called everything else gay. Those guys definitely weren't projecting and fearful about like what their actual sexual desires were. Anyway, speaking of uh, videos with uh, bearded lefties, let's look at some hot masculinity takes from me, a different evolution of me. I'm a steamy boy. Oh, I'm such a steamy boy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Michael channel. The Michael channel, where dreams are made of. What does Hold it on, mean I'm gonna be back in a man? second. Many people will say, oh, you have to pick up a rock. You have to pick up a big stick or a stone uh, in order to be a man. Others will retort, well, what if you pick, what if you pull a sword out of that rock and slay a single enemy, a single foe? Does that make you a man? Well, the answer is it depends. And because it varies so much, you know, everyone has a different idea of what it means to be a man, and that's why masculinity is so confusing. And so, today we're going to be looking at some hot masculinity takes, okay? Basically, some things you read and you say, why would you think that or say that? I haven't looked at any of these yet, so it's going to be a bit of a react, but it's an account that has some interesting posts, and we're going to check them out now. Here we go. Oh, The value of is going to spike. <laughs> Sorry, there's just no more masculine way to talk about yourself than comparing yourself to a stock. The coronavirus affects the corona of a male's penis. This will drastically increase the alpha male, beta male divide. Women are going to start fighting for in order to become pregnant. <laughs> fighting for is such a visceral, like, I'm picturing women in like a field, fist fighting, and then a springs up out of like the, out of the grass, and they all die for it, and then they're punching and grabbing hair. What does any of this mean? What is the corona of the penis? The corona of glans penis, or penis crown, refers to the circumference of the base of the glans penis in human male. Oh wait, okay, the coronavirus invades cells in the penis and testicles of You guys want to see how fucking insane how much how much hair I have? This was all my beard hair, dude. It looks like pubes, but Nutty. That's a lot of hair, bro. I'm trying to smoke on this, dude. There's a lot of white in there too. Look at the look at how many white hairs I have in my beard. You can literally see the white hairs. That's crazy. Who wants this? I will sell it. Who wants this? Who wants it for their who wants it for their shrine at home? Do you want it? Put it on eBay for charity? I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. Okay. Monkeys, researchers say. So he might be a monkey type tweeting this, typing this, and saying, look, all right, for me and all my monkey friends and buddies, we're, our wieners are fucked. And so make sure you wear your monkey mask and don't let the female monkeys all try and grab your wiener if it's sick. Let's just, let's just stop talking about wieners. Uh, next one, here we go. I'm 23 and I hate dating in this generation. Chivalry is dead. Oh, brother. Masculinity is called toxic when it's actually the foundation of the world? Let's crack open this globe and see a damn Clint Eastwood or some crap. <laughs> Men like Elon Musk are vilified, while wimps like L Zelensky are lionized. I'm going to start a podcast soon. Follow me for when it starts. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I, that's, I... The tagging of Elon Musk is what really makes this, because it's like, you know she's trying to get him to see it. And his little insecure little ass scrolling the timeline, re refreshing his notifications, you know he's going to see it. Chivalry is such a funny talking point, because it's like, chivalry is just like doing something nice and considered for someone, but for dudes only. <laughs> and so chivalry being dead just means like, oh, if I'm walking up and the girl I'm seeing wants to open the door for me, I'm not going to like stop her and be like, don't do that. That's for boys. You're gathering berries. You don't have the strength to open the door to this AMC theater. What are you doing? Because what it does is it allows like just the pressure to be laid off of like both parties to act a certain way. And if someone opens the door, I can appreciate that and be like, that's very sweet of you to do. Thank you. I don't know. Weird, weird tweet for sure. Definitely a hot masculinity take. Go check out her podcast. See what's up. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. You can't call yourself an alpha male and have an Asian wife. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Computer, load up a map of the world and where Asia is, put a big soy label. Everyone there is soy. All the men there are soy because they have Asian wives or they- True. Yeah. 
What? So. <laughs> Normal men don't feel comfortable in churches for the same reason they don't want to linger in the women's clothing section at a store. It feels overly feminine. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to give your heart and soul to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? What is it about church that has this guy freaking out uh, while he's sitting there? Or maybe while he's kneeling, it's getting on your knees that makes him feel normal men don't stay in the women's section because it's for girls and it's that makes you gay <laughs> i think the number one reason you wouldn't stay in the women's section of a clothing store is because you're just not that's not what you're shopping for but if you were there for some reason you're with someone that was shopping in that section do you like feel threatened by that or something you it makes you feel abnormal that's i don't know it's just it's funny man i get the whole walking by victoria's secret and like keeping your head straight you know like i'm not looking i'm not looking but that's more of when you're a child at the mall, you don't want to be seen as like a weird guy. I remember having to go inside one of those places to get perfume for someone for some gift. It might have been my girlfriend in middle school or something. And that definitely felt abnormal, but just because it was way too smelly and way too, uh, way too lingerie all up in my child face. Okay, wait here, there's some more context here. Go on, what precisely is overly feminine to you? He says, one example, easy example, is the content of many modern worship songs. Bro, is he saying fellas is believing in God and singing gay? Like, is that what it is? I mean, this is like, this This basically goes back to the exact same fucking thing where, where it's like, like anything and everything you do is gay. I saw TikTok where like some, um, some woman was like, oh, um, some woman basically was like, oh, you know, Imagine uh, being called gay for being feminine. Like, fellas, uh, I love your, that you're in touch with your feminine side and it's great or whatever. And then this dude was like, dude, they called me gay for not wanting to play, uh, like, bloody knuckles. Like, they, I grew up in the 2000s. Like, they called me gay for everything. You know what I mean? My brother called me the, you know, my brother called me the F word because, like, I didn't want to, what was it? I forget what it was. Like, because I did my homework or something. So, like... This is basically a, a remnant of that, which is you're gay for literally doing anything and everything. Here, I mean, this is the TikTok, yes. This is straight men who were called gay growing up for being comfortable with their femininity. No, that's not why you were called gay. If you grew up in the 2000s, you weren't called gay for being comfortable with your femininity. You were called gay for everything. You know what's crazy? Growing up in the early 2000s, I wasn't called gay for doing anything inherently feminine. I was just called gay for doing anything. One time, my brother called me the F word because I told my mom he hit me. At school, Snitch. I got called gay because I said my favorite flavor of ice cream is strawberry. What's gay about liking strawberry? One time, I was called a fruitcake because I didn't want to play bloody knuckles. I didn't want to play bloody knuckles. What's fruity about not wanting to play bloody knuckles? Early 2000s was a different time. You got to understand, I, I wasn't doing anything. Family. It was, everything was gay. Everything was me living my life. It was gay. I, I, I was gay so many times. I don't know how I came back from it. <laughs> I don't know how I came back from it. It's such a funny line. Yeah, washing your hands is gay. Everything was gay. Like It's just like anything and everything that uh, people were like, people considered to be you know, bad at that moment was just gay. Except for calling everything gay. That was the only straight thing. The only straight men were the men who called everything else gay. Those guys definitely weren't projecting and fearful about like what their actual sexual desires were. Just kidding. Some of those dudes are in this chat right now and they openly love talking about how much they love sucking cock. That's kind of how it goes in a lot of instances. Now, there are newer versions of that still because, hey, guess what? Patriarchy hasn't gone away kind of a thing that people still love and appreciate and enjoy and live inside of. It's the, it's the comfort bubble, right? So now you got motherfuckers literally like uh, on TikTok under every video of mine being like, I can't believe Hassan would make a joke about, say, uh, you know, alongside Bradley Martin saying going to the gym is gay when he has long hair and he wears a hairband on his right wrist like a woman. You did not hear that incorrectly. People, people now still to this day are saying you are like a woman for having long hair, which is gay. It's crazy.
fellas, was Jesus Christ the homosexual? Is a joke that I would make. You know what I mean? It's like something I would say. I would say that. I would say Jesus Christ is gay. Like, look at how shredded he was, especially for that time, dude. Are you kidding me? Why are you getting fucking shredded, dude? To suck penis. That's why. Anyway, let's continue. Songs. We shall overcome. Come. It's about come. Whoa. Hey, we're inside now. Sorry about that. Just got to really quick thank the sponsor of today's video. Boom. You get the video by red, red flag. And then there's just photos, some photos of some cute cups. You know, of all the things to get mad at any of these, the people in these photos about, it's such an odd choice for it to be that you don't want to f*** their wife. <laughs> but this definitely does speak to uh, a social norm of the attractiveness of your partner being a virtue. It being a sense of social status beyond your own attractiveness to them. I think growing up, I, I, I felt that a lot. The sort of sense of pride you have of, sh you know, look, look who I'm pulling up with but at a certain point you got to realize that that it's just it's all a performance and a performance you don't have to be making you don't have to value your own self and the person you're with's uh, worth based on wh what your boys think extremely shallow and shit way to live a life that does make it so that instead of you know being with someone that you like you're with a number a number out of 10 that's what people know and most women love absolutely adore being reduced to a number on a chart. That's they, they live, they love it. Imagine having less than 10 children because you're a pussy bitch who doesn't have four wives. Genetic failures. So this is Andrew Tate on his Twitter account, reinstated by Elon Musk, by the way. And I'm not, I'm just not even gonna, it's just, it's bait, you know? It's always bait, every time. Like if at any point I become the type of YouTuber that looks at something like that and says, wow, dude, that's really messed up, bro. You're, that's crazy that you'd say that. Someone just drive to my house and shoot my slash my on racket or a hammer or meta ball and kill forever because that's not we don't that's we don't need to do that we just don't as a married man why do you have women as friends women in my life are my family my wife my best friend women i work with not friends my wife's friends not my friends my friends wives not my friends no women do i call or hang out with without my wife well just to answer your question Bro, he's just bitchless, dude. Chronically, dude. Sorry, uh, I'm the doctor. Just fucking diagnosed you with being chronically with devoid of pussy, okay? Straight up. Zero riz, zero bitches, okay? Holy fuck, dude. More maidenless than motherfucking Elden Ring, okay? Question. I think that married men would want to have women as friends because they'd want to have women as friends. <laughs> this is the type of guy to be walking down the street and a woman walks by and says, hi, how you doing? And he goes, ah, ah, I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. Like, what is that insecurity? Why? Why? This probably stems from that idea that men and women can't truly ever be friends because someone's going to want to... Which, okay, sure, it's a very dated thing to think and abide by, but if that's the case for you, that's fine. But you're married now, so you that's... You, it's all, you found that person, so what's, <laughs> you can't like just treat somebody as a human being without wanting to fuck them or whatever, I don't know. Weird stuff on the web today. As a father of daughters, I'm already training them to expect my judgment on courtship and marriage. Before betrayal. What is this, dude, immediately, red flag, bro. You got this look, it's like, it's over. That's not happening, you know what I mean? That's not a good look. Brothel, I'll vet their suitor rigorously. His position on education? Says you? Yeah, no shit, dude. That's why I fucking am slowly but surely fixing it. Shut His up. His position on mothers working. His position on natural law in regard to the marriage debt. Jennifer C Jennifer says, how old are your daughters? Bug Hall says, five, three, one, zero. Okay, well, congratulations on the newborn. But what's... Wrong with you, man. <laughs> Obligatory, uh, the, the right's always talking about grooming comment. Hypocrisy, wow, look at it, wow. Who could have seen it? Who could have seen this coming? There actually really is no indication in this what his values are. It, it could be him vetting them for their position on education to be that it should be free and available to everybody and higher education as well, uh, and there should be a lot of funding for it. And then mothers, you know, should be able to work if, they, if that's what they want to do. And if they don't, there should be benefits to the entire family so that they can spend less time working, more time with their family. But something tells me that that's not the case. You know, the fact that they're, there's, it's an embryo he's talking about currently. That's not something you do when you're normal. And so then those other positions would be normal positions, but they're not. Just a reminder that No Nut November isn't real. 
You can nut whenever you want. I just masturbated and it was great. No one can stop me. Uh-oh, muscly back profile picture. No Nut November isn't about depriving yourself of pleasure. It's about showcasing your warrior spirit. Bro just said not jerking off showcases your warrior spirit, dude. Yo, it's so fucking fire. Getting no pussy and like, you know, openly telling everybody on the timeline, even though they fucking knew, is actually about being a fucking warrior, dude. That's what it is. I will be Hokage one day. No pussy. I will be Hokage. It's crazy. Everyone has an internal war. The human mind versus- There's no way this is serious. I don't believe that. This is the animal body. Show your body that you are king. That you are not slave to your desires. Embrace. And, and, and. Or be normal just be normal it's okay do whatever thing activities you want with your friends on reddit but oh that guy's a league streamer it's a league player called dante's oh okay he's just fucking he's just fucking around yeah okay well noah it seems to it seems like you just got got and i did as well subsequently luckily we are able to fix the situation just be normal about it okay like i, I partially understand the argument that participating in in some kind of like fast sexual fast probably does have certain they are a league streamer though so it's like kind of hard to tell you know what i mean it's one of those things where it's like i can't be charitable to a league streamer because it's like how can you be charitable to a serial killer i'm just saying it's hard it's hard to be charitable to a serial killer which you know, on the on the morality spectrum, I would say is like right around where league players are. You know, so it's hard. Meditative qualities. I'm sure there's. You know, no five guys are always going on about that. Go nuts. What? A, like, don't go nuts. But <laughs> brother, if no coming is you being a warrior and doing warrior spirit stuff, more power to you. Just don't. Be a reply guy about it. Thank you. Men should dress like men and women should dress like women. I think the funniest part about this is that I can say no matter what I want about league streamers, and they will usually agree with it because one, they hate all of the other league streamers, and two, perhaps more importantly, they hate themselves. I will never be able to hate a league streamer as much as a league player or streamer hates themselves. After all, they keep playing fucking league. They will say, they will agree or say, what about Valo? I agree. It's the same thing. You play any fucking thing that Riot produces and you're a psychopath. I mean, I tweeted about this earlier this morning, dude. Like, no one fucking wakes up and goes, I want to fuck my day up, fam. Okay? No one. Except for people who like playing uh, Riot games. Okay? I'm completely self-aware of this. Here, I'll explain what happened to me this morning. I played Valorant this morning. I, I fired it up at like 9 a.m. I fired up a solo queue Valo, okay? A little solo queue Valo sesh. No one's online. None of my friends are even awake. Everyone's back home, which is pretty lame if you think about it, but whatever. I fired up, and I got a fucking 12-year-old on the team. Immediately, I'm like, oh, no. 12-year-old Instalox Jet. I'm like, double oh, no. Woo! 12 year old starts asking about fucking gun skins. I'm like, that's the that's it. That's the trifecta. My day is fucking ruined, okay? Immediately my day is fucking ruined. It will never be good from that moment on. Okay, that's self-harm already. There's another guy who's trying to dictate what we do on the team. At the end of the fucking at the end of like the half point, and we're on Haven, a map that is like offensive, and we're on attack. We should have the advantage here. Guess what, dude? That motherfucker went 16 and 0. 16 deaths, zero kills, constantly asking for skins. He's like, can I get your Marshall? Can I get your Marshall? I was like, bitch, what do you mean? No, you can't. You can't get my Marshall skin. You don't deserve it. You're a fucking loser. Okay? Guess what? Santa Claus is not real. Guess what? If Santa Claus was real, he would have fucked your mom to produce better offspring. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, exactly. As someone also pointed out, my famous line is, Skins are for winners! If you're a fucking closer, you get a skin. 0 oh, and 16? You don't deserve a skin. You don't even deserve to play this game. Now, it's not even over there. 
The other fucking guy who is an older person also sucked dog shit, okay? Literally was sucking up dog shit with the killjoy. Oh, my fucking Lord. Start trying to give commands. There's only one other, per two other people on the team, obviously. One is a fucking sage who was like doing decently well in the beginning, but lost his fucking mind and basically wanted to forfeit. Tried to FF. Immediately we denied it, okay? Because it was like, it's too, we can turn this around. We can turn this around. So he fucking rage quit. So now, and this piece of shit didn't actually rage quit, by the way. He fucking did the classic thing where he would just like move his mouse around in between rounds so he doesn't actually look like he's rage quitting. It's Christmas Eve, man. What am I doing to myself? Why am I doing this? I, no one should hate themselves this much. Now I'm taking hostage. There's one omen on the team. He's actually kind of cracked. He gets an ace on one round. He's the number one uh, player on our team. I'm the number two player on our team. That's how you know how bad our fucking team is. Fuck! Worst part of all is that there were no Smurfs in our fucking lobby. It was like a regular silver lobby. It was a regular silver lobby. If I had a balanced fucking team, that would have been a fun-ass game. And if you've ever played a Riot game, you know how hard it is to get a regular balanced lobby when you're solo queuing. It sucks. It's like one of the few instances where you're actually fucking playing against a silver squad who is actually fucking silver. It's like that unique, like, oh, it's that unique moment where you're like, oh my God, we did it. There's actually a fucking silver lobby here. That's crazy. We did it. We found it. But unfortunately, solo queuing is like playing Russian roulette with multiple fucking bullets in the chamber. That's how solo queuing is like. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Every time you solo queue, you're like, there's no fucking shot. Either there's going to be an insane fucking, there's going to be insane people who are like, oh, I'm just Iron 3. Meanwhile, they're fucking radiant. The less likely outcome is that you're going to be playing a game with like actually evenly matched fucking players. Huh. Welcome to Valo during winter holiday. I was literally trying my best. Eat shit. Stay silver, man. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I can't believe we derailed the conversation this much into how fucking dog shit everything is. Let's get back to masculinity takes. Culture is clearly trying to blur these lines, and Christians should exemplify the distinctions. Ladies, wear dresses often, keep your hair long, and stay healthy. Men, ditch the gay look, grow a beard, and get strong. Gay men famously don't have beards and are not ripped. <laughs> I love the idea of culture being the culprit here. Just culture. That is the game, yes. He had a fucking ace, dude. I told you. We had one fucking good dude. Uh, like, I, th this is exactly as I described the situation. 016? Oh, he actually had seven kills? Jesus Christ. Maybe the fucking, maybe the skins did work. The point, when I was talking about it, he was always, uh, when I was fucking tweeting about it, it was 0-16. You literally got only one more kill and you talk shit? No, this motherfucker was like insanely bad, dude. Maybe the skins did actually help him. Do you remember the players' names in Valo? No, I don't. And the reason why I don't is specifically because if I knew their fucking names, I would do terrible things, okay? Straight up. Also, look at the fucking damage my man did. 1,200. In a video game, of course, I'm saying. In a video game. You've improved in Valor to the point of being a mid-player impressive? Yes. Here's the thing, okay? I know how bad I am. That's the difference. I know how bad I am. I'm not a good player. I need people that are better than me on my fucking squad, okay? But when my MMR, for, some, for one reason or the other, matches me up with people who are playing their first ever comp game, 
okay? It blows my fucking mind. It says that they're unranked. That sucks. Yeah, no, it was like their first comp game. So I didn't actually yell at him, but I did tweet about it. Log in a tracker GG so we can see your stats. If I'm top frag, I know there's a problem, bro. We about to lose. Exactly. Exactly. I didn't yell at him in the game. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. Muted the mic before yelling? Yeah, no. Right, let's continue. As a concept, just, just generally. Culture. People and places and things and ideas going on in the world are doing this to you. So... Tell him, knock it off. <laughs> do you take time to examine your son's genitals? Do you teach him how to take what? a bath like a man? Have you taught him how to urinate like a man? What is it? What? Does he have testicles? Have you checked? Does he erect? Some fathers don't bother. They leave everything. Okay, these aren't real, dude. There's no fucking shot that like someone tweeted that out. That is so weird, gross, possibly illegal. That's criminal, dude. And to the mother. Hashtag man day. <laughs> Does your son have a cock? Your son have a dick and balls? Hey, you, on the street. Do you have a son? You don't? Okay. If you had a son, would it have a dick? <laughs> would it get hard? Tell me. Think really hard about it. Would it get hard? This is, I don't know if this is what Martin Luther King Jr. stood for. <laughs> this is a post in r slash Breaking Bad. Did crime make Walt's size larger? Serious. When Walt and Skyler make love after he does a crime, she says... Is that you? As if his penis feels completely different. Does this show a change in Walter's cock? Dude, this is a person who's like, I think I might try this crime thing out. Like, that's literally, this is like straight up a person asking. Okay. <laughs> He's like, listen, I, it seems like his cock grew significantly enough for her to feel it. I need to know how to do this. If I do a crime, will this happen to me is what I'm asking. I'm posting this on the Reddit mobile app from the inside of a bank. I have a gun. The only time your significant other will feel that your cock has grown inches is when you subscribe to the Hassan Abi broadcast to avoid the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour. Because the three minute ad break is upon us. Woo. You act like we have girlfriends. Some of you do. I'm going to rob it because I need I just someone tell me please I I need help I need it my pee pee small <laughs> oh Ian Miles Chong a uh, friend of Elon Musk and weird fascist uh, creep let's see what he has to say about masculinity Lent, hit on. The Thank you for the from sucks. bad medical takes it says male depression is nearly always a result of learned helplessness but health providers treat it like female depression and try to make men feel loved instead of powerful Ian chimes in he is 100% correct actually it is a based medical take Men can never feel loved enough because we aren't built to desire it. Forcing it on us just leads to feelings of hollowness and lack of fulfillment. If you're a man and you need to feel loved, you need to alter your desires. Pursue ambition and then you will be happy. I just rise and grinded my way out of clinical depression. I started a small business and that's how I lost. Why are men so fucking ready, so willing, so able to just tell everyone how unlovable they are or how unfuckable they are. It is one of the most insane things I've ever seen, okay? It's so weird. Like, 90% of, like, the Manosphere people, whenever they're talking about women and shit, they're just basically self-reporting that they're just unfuckable. And it's odd because they develop a fan base of also unfuckable turbo virgins that are like, yo, you're so smart, dog. Thank you for telling me that I'm not the problem. Actually, it's the other women. They're the ones at fault. It's so odd. Anyone else comes out on the timeline and says, dude, I'm so unlovable, dude. I'm not meant, I'm not built for love. I, what does that say about me and my personality? It's like nobody loves me, and that's why it's fucking awesome. Everyone would be like, dude, what the fuck? That's weird. Why? You should probably look into that. Like, what, what is happening? Why do you feel so unloved? You know, I'm sure there's someone who loves you. No. No one is saying that. They're like, oh, well, this guy agrees with my worldview. So, yeah, actually, he's probably right. Yeah, it is normal to not be lovable and have any love in your life. It's my mental illness. <laughs> this is like a textbook patriarchal notion accepting love from someone or willing to 
be loved or l try to learn to love. That's what's going to hurt you. What's better off because of how we are wired is to just ignore all of that and go make a bunch of money or whatever. You'll get really good at something and until you do that, Damn. just don't accept love. Yo, I low-key look kind of good though. I mean, I'll take it. This is, uh, I, I love this dude. What's his name? And my head looks big too. What the fuck's the dude's name? God damn it. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Great actor. Hot. And he was great in uh, Bullet Train. So I'll take it. Disco Elysium edition is on. Yeah. That's the face. Didn't he marry like a 40 year old when he was 18? Yeah, bro. Make it about him. He's at fault there, I think. And, you know, there's some truth to the notion of being ambitious, being good for your mental health, you know, finding something you can do and strive towards. Sure, no problem. But then why not also, while you're doing that, be someone who is willing to form bonds and relationships with people? I don't want no guy that do do fast. What, man? What? <laughs> That is the wildest uh, form of gendering something I've ever heard. The longer you stay in the bathroom sitting on the toilet, the more of a man you are. That's why my legs are constantly numb. You can't see it, but I'm sitting in a chair that has a hole in it because I'm becoming a big boy man as we film this today. It is funny to think about like someone going into the bathroom, pooping really quick and then getting out as being like a quick little like weird thing to do. Cause personally, you know, I like taking my time. I like relax, chilling, you know, go on my phone, whatever but what does it have to do with being a man like how, how are those uh, what are you saying <laughs> biggest turn off is when a guy goes in the bathroom really quick biggest turn on is when he's in there for hours pooping and stinking out my poopy bathroom room stinky boy <laughs> that's what's hot you know let me let me get in there and say what's up poop with him pee, pee in the shower i don't know okay guys that's enough of, the, of all the good video from noah friend of the show and also look alike